lawsuit against the city of Memphis is in limbo tonight. Alicia Franklin says she was raped by the same man accused of killing Memphis mother, Eliza Fletcher. Franklin is suing the city for emotional damages. Action News 5's Bria Bolden live with us tonight with more on this. Bria. Yeah, well, for more than an hour today, attorneys from the city of Memphis and Alicia Franklin pleaded their cases on why the judge should dismiss, change, or uphold Franklin's lawsuit against the city. Circuit Court Judge Mary Wagner must decide whether a lawsuit that's captured national attention to the Bluff City should be dismissed or move forward with certain language removed. Uh, the city is in no way seeking to minimize what occurred between Ms. Franklin and Amy Cleo the absent during their encounter. As you know, we're simply here to discuss the legal liability of her claim against the city of Memphis. Cleotha Abson Henderson is accused of kidnapping and killing Eliza Fletcher. Nearly one year earlier, Alicia Franklin says Henderson raped her. She says she gave Memphis police his name and cell phone number and submitted to a rape kit, which was not tested until just before Fletcher's body was found. It has haunted her constantly that if I had just pushed the police to do their job, I could have saved her life. And so she now bears a sense of guilt over Eliza Fletcher's death uh, because she didn't push him. The city of Memphis attorney, Tanera Gibson, says the city wants Franklin's lawsuit dismissed or have claims related to Eliza Fletcher or untested rape kits taken out. Gibson says Franklin was not deprived of an investigation. There was no way of knowing what would happen to Fletcher. There's no causal connection between Ms. Franklin's um, assault in this Fletcher's murder. Judge Wagner questioned Franklin's attorney whether the lawsuit would exist without the connection to Fletcher. Because she was afraid he was going to find her and kill her. And she moved out of state to try to avoid that. But she stayed in contact with the police, and every time she would contact them, they would say, well, we have to wait on the DNA results. So what happens now? Attorneys for the city declined to comment after today's hearing. Judge Wagner will issue a written order with her decision on this suit at a later date. We will keep you posted on the outcome. In studio tonight, Bria Bolden, Action News 5.